so they don't know. Oh! For Pete's sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. What is she doing? Keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. How about you tell me what you're doing here? Let's display immunities and stuff. Um, oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. Exactly. I'm just, I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Now she's weak to psychology, Probably, right? I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louie? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? <laughs> Since you insist, Duchess, gallantry obliges this. Ladies first. You can't you argue just with that. Give in, will you? Can't I'm argue. Sorry, madam. It isn't in my nature. Well, no matter. <laughs> I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Okay. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same. Oh, we're going to work together. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good use of our points there. But she's, she's looking at other things, too, so... The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can no, only be Pandora's box. No, it's the symbols. Box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. She's making fun of me. <laughs> I'm doing it. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. <laughs> all right, can we move on now? Okay, fine. I it's nothing. I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. Yeah, that wasn't great. That was not great for us, guys. That was not great. A golden fleece. It's Fearless. freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> of course That's not. a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. Ouch! An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Mm, this is cheap enough. The Gospel According to Judas, or How to Crucify Jesus as Part of God's Plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Yeah, she's do not wrong. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. He's got everything. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, <laughs> you haven't even opened one. Nope. Nope, she hasn't. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. It talks about his passion for art. Collector coin. So I think if it's a coin that we've already picked up, like uh, that we've talked about, then we won't learn anything about it. Is this a Roman? Guess what I found. The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. <laughs> this could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Yep. Well, this is going to be bad. Stop! Don't put your grubby fat fingers on it. Oh, now you're telling me not to touch it. <laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My God, what an amateur. 
Many a harpsichord players would love to have sexy fingers like mine. <laughs> Tell me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands. I feel like those eyes just, just watching us going. back there, that's a sign. Bad loser. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be chintzy with our points. Looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Is that the second? Oh no, there's a whole other thing. Okay, so we have notes from Mortimer, we have notes from our mother, and we have notes from the encyclopedia. Science, linguistics, erudition, manipulation, psychology, politics, manipulation, conviction, occultism. I like how I've searched this entire place. She's still on the papers. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Okay, it's cheap. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a king. We're probably missing out on, like, objectives. Uh, say that again. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. French, if old Crusades. If it is Crusades. a true Damascus sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. Crusades? Is that Joan or is that Genghis? Frick. It really does look like Joan I could be way sword. off here. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet, given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help hmm. me search the place? I'm not sure what's supposed to be happening there. Amber crystals. Here's There's that thing on the table behind her too, A but... Manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. Well, how is that possible? I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. This guy never how dies. Can all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them. Do you think all these properties really belong to him? It's impossible. You know what? Let's See do those this. those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, gotcha. then it's a professional job. Could be several Mortimers, fair. Could be that he's immortal. Frick. Several people have played the part of Mortimer. A part that has been passed down from generation to generation. I have no Different idea. Men, but with one soul identity. This makes the most sense. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So? Do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. But the occult the thing case, could be an immortal situation. Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? My god. Um... Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. It's all we'll bad. You just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe we'll find something. Okay, fine. We 
What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Uh-oh. Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the oh hell no! I my trust in you, Louis. We have to do this. Um. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only. This is good because trust me this is little. like our strongest skill. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese, but I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think it's I'm a good point. Help. Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? <laughs> Difficulty five. Um. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only nice. weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. And that gains us I those points too. Past, so, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this well, time. We're kind of in the Do thick of it here. Mm. I know you well enough to see that you're hiding something from me. Why won't you look in the eyes? I figured you out, but you refuse to accept it. And you're starting to find me charming, too. Immunity to questioning. You win. You, worst investigator that ever was, <laughs> have sussed me out. Come on. Well, at least you made me smile. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use but to me. But that's, it's helpful but because we did I find something out about her. That, thanks to my teammate. Who is, who's your teammate? Is there any chance she might tell me who he is? Or who she is? No, I've already said too much. Yeah, you did. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on. Should have eaten that don't another twig. Don't that you come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. Damn it. Is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Um... That's not helping me. Remember how she was affected by that cameo? That's right. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I the am orphanage, impressed. maybe? How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. Got it. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected so me stressful. so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Your oh. twin? Now I get why you said you had a memory oh, for two. Okay. Yes. You can't imagine you said that in the very extent, beginning. Though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. How am I? But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. I don't know about that. She was meant to meet Sir Holm and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow she up. She could be swapping and there now. there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, 
no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So Holm so knows, though. My mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Hmm. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay yeah, very Yeah, I'm not dearly. interested in messing with Don't her, worry. to be honest. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Okay. <sighs> that was a mind blower. That was a mind blower. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. I I have to keep in mind that she's got that twin. That they could still be acting like that. And they're swapping in and out. And I wonder if there's like little diff... Uh oh. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. Okay, okay. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Whoa, really? <laughs> I'm sure she's married. I'm pretty sure. Right? I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. No, Louis, we this need to bad. talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Okay, it looks like okay. Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should no. I do? I don't need. I'm not. I don't need the je ne sais quoi, Elizabeth. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but See, I'm sure. See, this it was is one her. of those things where it's like nobody Are you believes you her. My mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding. Yes, Louis. I know it was her. And you just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night, and the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you, it was her. Convince me. Oh boy. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here! I'm telling you, it was her! Holy, she's freaking out. Yes. I need something to calm me down. I don't know if that's wise. Fine. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? This might loosen her up, I guess. Like, in a good way to give us information. <laughs> I don't know where she gets her rock cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa. The alcohol's... Oh, <sighs> maybe those head. crystals. Did she do something to us? No, 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 no. Just, no, no. Nope. Here, the condemned's last drink. Oh, I think I'm good. Elizabeth, remember those crystals? Alcohol never solves anything. That we didn't I'm try. Stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? Yeah, I think I see. You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louis. Either drink or get out. Jesus, we are so screwed. Man, I, I need to take it easy with the booze. We're in big At trouble. This rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. 
Ugh. The second one isn't any easier. We're going down. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Well, I think I kind of know. Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. I'm going all in now. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. This is going to end real bad for us. Oh. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. We have Just this tell thing. Tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices in my head. They speak so to me. So she's me. like self-aware kind of. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? Of course, Louis. This is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. These voices in your head, it's it's you, in fact. Nobody is speaking to you. Wow, we're pretty judgy. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the results. So is she saying that she's... It's impossible, Mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louie. Are you starting to believe me? Well, yeah, kind of. No, but... Sh Too bad it's all been for nothing. I mean, no, but... <laughs> They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. Please don't. Please don't. I beg you, tell me you believe me. I, I think, I mean, I kind of do. That's not helping me, is it? I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. We are cruising through and all I these things, you. too. This is bad. Thank you, Louie. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. She's severely traumatized, but... My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Whoa, whoa. Trying to escape seems freaking dangerous. But so does staying here, but maybe... Sh Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm with you. And anyway, my mother's gone missing. That's You're tough. not in any danger. That's not what the voices say. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist. And tomorrow, you'll see. Things will be better. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. <laughs> what? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. Ah, uh, she did mix. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. What? We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. I feel like Should we puking. use one of these things? I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. What? I'll take good care of you. What is this bitch gonna do to me? Don't touch me! Just le If I get up, I'll fall. I'm taking one. Mm. Let's see if that fixes this. I don't think it will, but... Mm. No. Because we got that that drunken oh, thing Louis tired. from her drinks. Leave everything to me. Holy moly. No, not the knife. Just let go. 
We're dead. Mademoiselle, may I come in? Inebriated. You drank with Elizabeth. We gained a point in psychology. All right. The only real bad one that we got here was uh, conviction. And I kind of ah, only got that because head. it was suggesting to us, like, don't always take the first so option. Oh, shit. What? Oh, no, this is bad. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so bad. Servant? Servant. No, not servant. Elizabeth. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad for us. No! Could have joined Emily. I had a few drinks with Elizabeth. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is uh, scary. This is very scary. I do have four points. Uh, I could finish off two levels. Or I could finish off Vigilance to get to level 2. And I could finish off Questioning. Or... What's our invent- what's the, uh... Psychology... Erudition, Science... I think we take the point in Erudition. So I could do, like, one point here, and then I could do... Notice noteworthy elements or oddly placed elements. Or questioning might be good. Do like that. Or we could do three points here, so that we, then we have one point in everything. It's just the problem is it's so hard to maintain because it's costly to use everything. But it opens up a lot of options, and I think that that's a pretty good way of doing it. Well, guys, that's the end of the first episode of the council, and uh, although I had my game crash, like, right at the very end, uh, I did confirm with the devs that, in fact, it just goes to the credits, and then it's going to go to the menu. So I didn't miss anything, and I can't wait for the next one. There's no timeline on release, but uh, as soon as I know, you'll know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. A bit of a cliffhanger there, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.